I have an addiction to mushroom decor. Hi guys, my name is Melissa and welcome to my channel. So I totally forgot to make an intro for this video, so here it is. As you probably already know from the title, we're going to be making mushroom crafts today and showing you a little bit about all of my mushroom stuff. Look at this shirt, you guys. It's so cute. This shirt is actually from Walmart, if you can believe it. I think it was like five bucks to seven bucks, I can't remember. And look what just came in the mail right now. <laughs> As I was recording this video, this beautiful mushroom dress. So I just had to put these two little mushroom items in the video because they can't be forgotten. Also was not able to put all of the mushroom crafts in this video that I wanted to do today because there was so many that I want to do so make sure that you come back to my channel and wait for a few more that are coming out after this video and also I'm gonna be doing some try-ons if you want to see tons and tons of mushroom outfits I'm gonna do some try-on videos so I'm glad you're here now back to the video these are from Target if you would like to see what I'm gonna do with these I think there's you know meant for kids because they came with little paint here's what they look like in the packaging I'm going to I think spray paint these gold and and then I am going to show you tons of other mushroom crafts that I have done over the years because I've been loving mushrooms for a really long time and now they're like becoming more trendy and I want to buy everything in the world that has a mushroom on it you know what I'm gonna do some more mushroom crafts. I'm going to share some of my mushroom collection and um, I just think they're cute. I can't help it. I've always thought they were cute. They remind me of the 70s, which I'm obsessed with. I love the like lots of times browns and golds and orange colors. Just love those little hippie vibes and my hand looks weird. If you want to see all my cutie little mushroom DIYs then keep watching and if you want to see some already done then keep watching if you want to see some other really cheap mushroom things that I have bought at stores and some not as cheap ones then keep watching because if you love mushrooms you're in the right place all right guys the first craft I'm going to do is spray paint so spray paint is obviously like the easiest way to change something up and I'm going to spray paint these gold. If you guys have watched my other videos, um, you would know my house is filled with gilded frames and antiques. I'm obsessed with like Victorian era, also like hippie era. I think I need some gold mushrooms. <laughs> Powers movie called Goldfinger. <laughs> mushroom craft that I'm going to be making is a headscarf. I got this material at Joanne Fabrics and I absolutely love it. I got, I have a little extra. I'm probably going to be making some other crafts with this later in the future as well. In the warm weather months, I wear bandanas in my hair constantly. And so I just use the size of one of my bandanas to shape or cut the material. And then I just did a half a little triangle instead of a square because this material is kind of thicker. I also washed and dried it um, so it would be a little bit easier to work with since it was so stiff and I know I should have probably sewed it but you guys if you have watched my videos before you know that I am obsessed with hot glue. Hot glue is so good for so many things. I've done it with clothes, I've done it with chair covers, I've done tons of stuff with hot glue and they always turn out really well and they last for years. Literally like I have an old chair that's lasted for what was it like seven years or something just by hot gluing something onto the cushions, some material and it actually held up. So I did use hot glue for this cute little headscarf but don't knock it till you try it, and if you want to sew yours, then go right ahead and do that. So definitely hope you guys love this one. It's really cute.
last craft that I did. Hey Scarlett! Hi! <laughs> I made some clay mushrooms. They were very easy to make. I think I might end up putting some little painted white polka dots on the top of them. I do want to mention if you guys decide to make these, I highly recommend using, if you're going to do an air dry clay, make sure that you use like a real air dry clay. Um, I'll try to link some really good ones in the comments below. The kind that I usually use for my crafting projects is Amazing Air Dry Clay and I will definitely make some videos on that good clay <laughs> one of these days here. But I did want to mention that in this video I'm using kind of, it's called like a kid's clay so it's air dry but it kind of stays spongy after it dries. It was definitely easier to use because it doesn't stick to your hands like a real earthy air dry clay but I don't know how well it's going to last in the long run so definitely use the other kind if you guys are going to make something like this and you want it to be uh, something that could last you for years for a decoration in your house and enjoy i love these i think they're so adorable all the mushroom crafts that I did so far for this video. I'm definitely going to be doing more, but if you guys want to see some that I've already done, I'm going to be sharing that right now in this portion of the video and also just some other little mushroom things and clothes and things that I have um, purchased recently or from the past and past crafts. So you can get some inspiration off of these other mushroom things I've made and definitely come back because I'm going to be doing more. All right, I'm going to start with these little mushrooms. They are salt and pepper shakers from the Target Bullseye or Target Target dollar aisle, whatever you want to call it. So adorable. They do seem a little bit tippy, I think because of the rubber thing they have on the bottom, but I plan on putting them in this little greenery um, tablescape I'm going to be making so they shouldn't be able to tip over when they have a little moss or whatever around them that I'm going to be putting. So there's those adorable, very cheap. I think they were $3 for the set of these. If you want to go check out your Target dollar aisle and you love mushrooms, you better go fast. Then we have these adorable little tiger's eye mushrooms it's a set of five you guys can get to these on a shein for really cheap i have never bought anything on shein before i just tried it out for the first time 
and it was so affordable it just takes like a month to come and this is one of the things i got i'm going to be doing a shein haul if you guys want to see that i'll be trying on clothes and stuff like that by the way there's like a million mushroom clothes on there and i think i bought them all <laughs> you can also get them on etsy but they're a little bit more expensive but you also would be supporting a small business i have tons of different types of stones and crystals i just loved the brown ones so these are a few more <laughs> kind of funny little eclectic type of mushrooms that i made they're in my son's room and they're just a bunch of little vases just put a bowl on top of a vase upside down vase whatever you want to call it i would glitter the inside of the bowl or the vase then you use e6000 glue to get them to stick together and they like never fall off i made these lots and lots of years ago they're not my favorite creation i think i could do a lot better of a job nowadays <laughs> but i was going to just put these out in my outside garden at one point and then I just decided I did, was doing a nature theme for my son's bedroom and I just ended up putting them in here like for a little bit and then here they've stayed. So eventually they probably will go out into my outdoor garden and I will have to probably spray uh, the painted ones with some clear coat of spray. They obviously need a dusting sitting up here. <laughs> but these type of little mushrooms you can get at Dollar Tree right now, you guys. I don't want to give away my whole Shein haul, but mushroom clothes, mushroom clothes, mushroom clothes, mushrooms, mushrooms. <laughs> if you guys like mushrooms, definitely come watch my try on. It's going to be coming soon. Then we have got these adorable little mushrooms. They're so cute. They are like a solid wood and you could get them in three different sizes. Also dusty. <laughs> if you guys are obsessed with mushrooms, as I'm guessing you are because you're watching this video, um, you should definitely check out Michael's Craft Store because they have so many amazing mushroom things. I mean, if you don't have one by you, look online and definitely don't pay full price because Michael's has amazing coupons all the time. You can find them online and get really great deals on your adorable mushroom stuff. So highly recommend looking there if you're looking for adorable cottagecore type vibes and mushroom cuties. I also really love to draw mushrooms and make art with them in other ways. If you guys want to see, I've got a whole bunch of drawings that I did. I'm also hoping to be selling a coloring book that I have been working on, but this is just kind of a sneak peek of some of my little mushroom art that I've been making over the last year or so these are just me playing with watercolors because i don't know what i'm doing but i enjoy just painting for fun because it feels good <laughs> this is something that i made up called rain art and i just think it's such a fun thing to do i have a little short video on my channel if you want to see more rain art it definitely was a process and you had to have a light sprinkle not a downpour it erases your whole entire picture if it isn't just a nice little sprinkle If you guys are interested in seeing any of my art or possibly buying future art, let me know what you think because I've got lots of stuff in the works and I can totally show you some of it if you want to see more. I have got, um, these are a bunch of other paintings that I was trying out with watercolor too. And that one obviously got a little blurry, but I love how parts of it turned out and it's really fun to try new things, you guys! If you've never tried painting or drawing before, you can totally be self-taught and it's just a really enjoyable thing and calming and relaxing thing to do. Highly recommend. Then I have this beautiful necklace, but look how tarnished it is already. I actually bought this on Etsy and I'm also obsessed with moons, so it was like the most exciting find ever. I loved that it was two-tone with the gold and silver 
but now it kind of looks brown, bronze and pewter. <laughs> I did see when I was looking on the Shein, Shein, however you say that website, that you can buy these on there for like a dollar. Guys, it's actually warm out in Minnesota right now, but this is not good. <laughs> I'm wearing my mud boots, but I came out here because oh, I have to show you my other mushrooms. So one year I forgot to put them away and these ones, they're like ceramic all the way down. And when they, I took them, tried to take them out of the ground too late, the ground was already frozen and they snapped off. I think these are the ones from the Dollar Tree, like the one I showed you in my son's room. Looks so cute when you set them out in the mulch around your little garden area. And um, I can't do it right now because our ground is still frozen. <laughs> but that's what the other mushrooms look like. So I definitely need to get my booty over to the Dollar Tree and get some more for my little collection. And that's everything I've got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed this little mushroom craft DIY and kind of tour video. I'm so glad you came by and I hope that you come back again and we'll see you next time. Bye. Have a happy mushroom day. <laughs> Crunchy.